for yet another fun house. I hope you've had a better day than me. It started off with myself clearing leaves up. It was all going well till I fell out of the tree. Here's the fun house! And if you thought that was dramatic, wait till you meet Melanie and Martina! There you are, I told you so. And if you thought they looked good, wait till you see our players on today's Fun House! Yeah. See what I mean now here, and so's Martina. Hi! Hi! Or should I say hello? Hello! Who have you got? Okay, I have Abigail and Michael. They come from North Yorkshire, and they both attend the Settle Middle School. Yeah! Hello, Mel. Hi, Pat. Who we got? I have Verity and Fraser, and they're from Peebles, and they attend the Peebles High School. Yeah! All right, Abigail is first known as Ginge. She's a redhead, no hair, but she's got a red head under there. So, what hobbies do you have, Ginge? Horse riding, dancing, and listening to music. Tell us about your horse. Have you got a horse of your own? No. Would you like one? Yeah. What would it be if you had one? What sort of um, horse? A chestnut called Zareeb. Um, it's about 13 three hands. So you know what you want, eh? Just got to get it. You never know. Power price could be a horse. Never know. We do, we do all sorts of things on this show. Michael Gallivan, and uh, any interesting hobbies for you? Yeah, I like caving and climbing, and I do almost all sports. Caving? Now, is that scary? No, because I really like the dark, so I get on. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Verity, hello. How'd you do? Nice to see you here. Into gymnastics, music, and making things out of junk. So, yeah. what have you made so far out of junk? Well, I make things like jewelry out of lemon seeds and dye them and things like that, and make tidy tubs out of toilet rolls. Oh, really? Yeah. She could be a TV presenter soon, going, here's one I made earlier out of junk. <laughs> and Fraser Kilner, anything good ever happened to you that was funny, Fraser? Well, it was at Halloween, and I had this really gruesome mask. And I was waiting for my mum to come in from the shop, and I jumped out of my living room and scared her. Are you really genuinely scared? And she really took it seriously. It so really it really fun. worked? Yeah. What would you do if you had a load of money? Would you buy loads of masks and scare no, everybody? I would buy one of the go carts from Funhouse. Well, Fraser, you'll get to riding one a bit later, so that'll be all right. Good luck to all our players today on the Funhouse! Yeah! Okay, so here's what we have for you on Phantasmagorical Fantastic Funhouse today. Three fun-filled games, each one worth 25 points to the winning team. After each game, we bring you back here and you hit your buzzers. If it's yellow, you do that. If it's red, Oh, you do that. You do it quick, otherwise you're in all sorts of trouble as well. You get 25 points if you answer the question correctly. There's 25 points for the Fun Cart Grand Prix winner. And also you pick up the tags as you go along, the 10 and the 25 points. And the Fun House offers the best prizes on the television for the power prize. That's all later on. The first game's for the girls. It's called Landslide! Yeah! A shame, really. It's for the girls. Michael would have loved this as we head towards the caves. So I'll put this uh, tin hat on. It's not actually a tin mine. It's it's a gold mine, okay? It's all mine. It's mine. If you want to have a look at some of the gold here, I will show an example of what you will be after. There it is. That's fantastic. I think I've got one of those in my teeth, actually. Anyway, you will be trying to grab those from amongst the gunge just to show you that these rocks are real. Let's just try and pick this one up here. Oh, I can't do it. Here, I'll get that out of the way, will you? Brilliant. Right, so if you come around here a second, you will see some gunge. In the gunge are the gold pieces I told you, but this is, this is just hideous. Look. That is just mucus and horrible sort of stuff there. It will be your job, girls, to crawl under there, pushing the boulders out of the way to find the gold bits. There's one as an example, just to prove to you that they are in there, OK? I'll stick that one right down again. Because we're in a mine, there will be explosions, okay? There could be boulders flying everywhere. So to get this thing started, let's bring the lights down a little bit, please, to make it just the right atmosphere. Perfect. On your mark, 60 seconds. Get set, be lucky, go! Yeah!
well done. Beautifully dipped in the cleaning solution and then placed in our presentation boxes. You did fantastically. The lights return and we'll go over here first of all and see how many the Reds got in our first game today. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Six carat gold. How many did we get then? Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five. Yes. yes. Red points rerun the five. Oh, nice one, girls. You did it for your country. And the Reds got 25 points for it. Yeah. Of course, the reason why we let the youngsters play that game and no adults, because otherwise they wouldn't be minors. So here we go. We have a chance for the boys to answer this one. Could get 25 points without even getting Gunji. The crown jewels, and there's lots of gold in them, are kept in a famous tower. In which city would you find that tower? <laughs> Yellows. London. Yeah, Tower of London. Well done. Yeah. So you've caught up. It's 25 points apiece. Yeah! Now, the twins have just run off to get Michael and Fraser all ready for game number two, which I tell you is going to have you in a spin. It's called Apple Turnover. Come on, girls, come and play as well. Yes, there they all are, ready to spin their wheel of fortune. I wonder how well they will do here. If you have a look at this, you'll see it's, um, well, it's quite appetizing, really, isn't it, I think, for this time of day. You have the real apple turnovers, which are these. You take your apple, well, sort of a funhouse apple, you dip it in here, which is your actual apple stuff, followed by the cream. You come over here by throwing it as quick as you can onto this. Smash! The trouble is you'll be spinning, OK? It's sort of a twin spin. So as you spin round like this, you may get hit by some of these. Now, you don't mind getting a bit messy. No, he doesn't mind getting a bit. Whatever happens, he doesn't mind getting messy, OK? You have 60 seconds to break as many of the Apple turnovers on the spinning wheels as you can. Stand by to spin. On your marks. Get set. I'm off for tea. Go! <laughs> Absolutely brilliant in that game. They had the most spectacular time I've seen in that. Yeah, you can stop Ooh. now. You're all right. I told you you might get just a little bit, and you seem to have got just a little bit as well. Looking good there. So let's count them up here. How many did we get over here, please? We didn't get any. Ah, I thought so. Yeah, it did look quite bad. And how many? We got six. Six. Yay! So it's red points. Let's rerun the fun. Yeah!